It has the potential to replace phone and cable internet service. If you haven't heard of Etherlinx yet, chances are you will soon. The garage startup is a hot topic in Silicon Valley for its inexpensive wireless internet. Silicon Valley Bureau Chief Jim Goldman is here to tell us all about it, Jim. This is truly fascinating technology. Etherlinx appears to have solved that most elusive of problems, high-speed connections anytime, anywhere, any place, always available, completely safe and secure, and cheap enough for just about anyone to afford. In this garage, just six blocks away from the one that spawned Apple Computer, another revolution may be taking shape. We didn't want big office space. You know, it's sufficient for us, and you know, and, and it works. We're beginning to realize it's a pretty big deal. <laughs> <laughs> They're a pretty big deal? Inexpensive wireless broadband that could drive traditional cable and phone companies out of business. They've tweaked inexpensive wireless fidelity, or Wi Fi, and extend its range from mere feet to up to 50 miles. Internet anytime anywhere at incredibly high speeds. First it was like a mile, then it was five miles, then it was 10 miles, then 20. A single small antenna can be mounted just about anywhere, transmitting data faster than a cable modem to these tiny $150 boxes that act as both receiver and transmitter. They're mounted to the sides of homes or businesses. Now think FM radio, but this goes two ways. Etherlinks can offer broadband to even the most rural areas, providing high-speed access to the estimated 90% of the nation that cannot get it. We go where DSL and cable cannot go or isn't going to deploy. An innovation the New York Times suggested could render traditional cable modems and DSL connections obsolete. We're not out to you know, kill the monopolies. Um, we just want to you know, serve broadband to, up to the masses. Now that the word has gotten out about this technology, offers are pouring in from around the world. Here are 2,000 emails, many of these business billion dollars in this new company. Schools could be the first to get Etherlinks, which could be good for the entire community. We then get a broadcast signal to the neighborhoods, and we would share some revenue with the schools. Now, just wait till you see that kind of business plan. Isn't that going to be an interesting thing? Other companies are working on this same kind of technology, but they don't offer quite the same blanket coverage that Etherlinks apparently is able to provide. I should also tell you that the company's founders are headed to Washington next month to meet with some congressional leaders who have been exposed to this technology. They are going to try and figure out a way to deploy this as quickly as possible. That's how exciting this is all getting. Well, I know some other people that will be panicking about this, the phone and cable companies, those boardrooms and the ISP. Even they must be just uh, all in a dizzy. Yeah, you got to just figure that they're sitting there somewhere saying, No, this can't be true. But mm. indeed it is. And in fact, many of them have already been in contact with the companies to try and figure out what they're doing because a lot of those companies that you're talking about have been working on this kind of stuff, but they have always met with failure. So what are they doing differently that nobody else is? We'll just have to wait and see how it all works out. But this could be a classic case for those ISPs, cable and phone companies. If you can't beat them, you may have to join them. Good advice. Well, this is going to be a story we'll be following because this could be a major breakthrough. All right, Jim Sounds Goldman, good. our Silicon Valley Bureau Chief. And as Jim said, there are a handful of other companies working on this technology. That short list is on our website, techlive.com.